together, you can try it out to see what you've got and how it works. After you've built something, you can play with it because the pieces fit together and it doesn't fall apart. You can keep on adding to it, bit by bit, and as you add pieces, you can see how it's developing. I really enjoyed watching everyone working with building blocks. They had so many clever ideas. And that was a creepy, spooky, scary show. If you're brave enough to stay tuned, prepare to be frightened out of your wits by the late night monster show. But if not, good night. <laughs> well, that's enough of that. That was scary. Boom. <gasps> oh, it's really dark in here. Let's turn on the light. Okay. Can we please have the lights on? Oh, sure. It's us, Dora. Dorothy the Dinosaur and Captain Feathersword the Friendly Pirate. The Captain has brought me over to say a special hello to the Wiggles. Likely story. Anyway, you're too late. The lights are out in Wiggle House. 
and I'm very tired. I've been opening and closing all day, you know. But door, I... Who goes there? Oh, it's me, Dor! Captain Feathersword, the friendly pirate! <laughs> Likely story. I'm afraid I need my sleep. If you want to get into the house, you'll have to go around the back. But... Good night. Oh, I think I can see the Wiggles. Let's go around the back and give them a nice surprise. You go. No, you go. No, you go. Anthony, you're the closest to the light switch. Oh, but... This is silly. Well, there's no way through down that side, Dorothy, me young dinosaur friend. We should try this way, I think. What was that? What was what? That. Oh, it's nothing. You're all being silly. Now, let's turn on the light. Come on, we can all do it together. Oh, there, that's better, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> it's only us. You should have seen your face, Anthony. You sure were frightened. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't. But I'm sure there was a monster outside. <laughs> Anthony, it's just me. Jeff. Come on, Anthony, you know the television's only make-believe. There's nothing to be scared of. Now, where did you think you saw this monster? Over there, at the window. See, there's nothing there. Oh. Huh. Wiggles, Wiggles. What is it, Murray? I, I think I saw a monster. No. Two monsters? Oh, stop this. There's no such thing as monsters. What was that? What was what? See, I told you I saw something. I told you I saw something. Oh, stop being silly. I think we should turn the light up and hide. The monster! I think there's two of them. Quick, let's make a break for it. It's our only hope, I think. All right, get ready. One, two, three, go! Help! The monster's got me! Uh, me too! Be careful! There's monsters out there somewhere! Oh, our Anthony! There are no monsters. That was just Dorothy the dinosaur that bumped into you. But what about the monsters outside? I saw them. Oh, no. That was just little old Dorothy and myself. We went to the front door, but he wouldn't let us in. So we walked around the back. <laughs> so it was just you, Captain Feathersword, and Dorothy the dinosaur all along? Just us. See, I told you there were no monsters. Well, why were you running then? Well, uh, I... Uh... I just wanted to make sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Let's have a nice cold drink of milk. Oh, where am I? Oh, the monster. I wonder if it's gone. <laughs> it sounds safe enough. <sighs> the monster! Wiggles! The monster's back! Wiggles! Hello? Anyone home? No.
clap for the waggots and wags the dog. We'll see you later. Henry the octopus lives down in the deep blue sea. Henry the octopus, he's a friend to you and me. Hi, everybody. Or as we say in octopus language, three boop. It was a lovely morning in the ocean. The water was cool, clear and blue. Henry the octopus lived in his house under the sea. Henry took a lot of care in his appearance. He would make sure his bow tie was straight, his hat just right, and his shoes shone. Every morning before he left his home, he would check himself in the mirror to see that he looked just right. Today, however, started very differently. Henry was asleep in his seabed when suddenly there was a ringing sound. Ugh, what's that sound? Poor Henry was still half asleep and didn't know what was happening. There was a ringing sound, and so Henry got out of bed and answered his shellophone. Who in the sea could it be? Ooh, that rhymes. I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. <laughs> Henry was a funny octopus. Even when he was still half asleep, he was making jokes. It was his friend, Jacques the Shark. Jacques had some big news. Henry, the underwater big band has just been asked to play on Stars of the Sea, the biggest show on television. Henry was very excited. Oh, Jacques, I am so happy. I am so... Henry was so excited that Jacques had to interrupt his friend. Henry, listen to me. If you don't hurry, we'll miss the show. I'll ring the rest of the underwater big band and we'll all meet at my place. So be cool, Henry. But Henry was anything but cool. He was a very excited octopus. Henry quickly looked at himself in the mirror. Now, my bow tie is right, my hat is right. Ooh, I don't have much time. I'd better use the octomobile. Henry rushed outside to his octomobile and drove off to Jacques' house. All the big band were at Jacques' house. Henry got out of the octomobile. Hello, everyone. Are we all ready to be on Shellovision? Yes! shouted the band. Are all your instruments in tune? Yes! said the band. It was Henry's job as leader to check that everything was ready for the Shellovision show. And is everybody looking their best with everything clean and tidy? Yes! Because everyone will be watching! Just then, Henry looked down at his shoes. In the rush to go this morning, he had forgotten to clean them. This had never happened before. Oh, no! Look at all my shoes! They're not clean, and I'm about to go on Shellovision! Oh. Henry didn't know what to do. His shoes took so long to clean, and he didn't have time. Just then, Catfish said, Hey, why don't we all get some sea sponge and clean the shoes? If you did it by yourself, it'd be slow. But together, we could be really quick. Good idea, Catfish. Might I say perfect, said Jacques. And so it was. All the band took a piece of sea sponge and cleaned Henry's shoes. It was such a good idea, joining together to help their friend. The band played wonderfully on Stars of the Sea, so that they were asked to come back again and play another time. Of course, Henry had very clean shoes. Ahoy there, me hearties! You're all welcome here!
prepared. Oh, here we are. Oh, knew it was here somewhere. <laughs> I have your attention. Being able to tie a knot, of course, is one of the sailor's most valuable skills. We use different knots when securing the sails to the rigging. <laughs> now, let me show you one of my favorite knots. Sea dog, that's your wags. Yes. <laughs> Make a good sailor one day. What's it for? But now, let me show you my super special feather sword knot. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> now. <laughs>
a big clap for our friends Henry the Octopus, Dorothy the Dinosaur, Wax the Dog!